Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, I am Penj and welcome back to Chef, where last time out we created our little restaurant here and I'm very proud of it, I think it's really lovely. It's not big, it's not flash, it's not pretending to be, it's not got hundreds of tables and hundreds of waiters running around taking orders and hundreds of chefs making stuff in a gigantic kitchen. It's more small and sort of family focused, it's, in a, you know, it's a nice little place to go. You've got the tables over here with the four chairs around, these are for family or for groups of friends or whatever. You've got the smaller tables here with the two chairs. This is for couples or people on dates or people on their own or whatever. Nice mix of things there. I do quite like that. And I think we did pretty well. I think we did pretty well last time out. The results were quite hard to read last time. So when we do a day, we learned that after you do one day of, of sort of playing the game yourself, it then takes your day's results extrapolates them up to a week's results and then gives you a week's worth of total at the end. However, this screen here, the budget screen, was not the clearest of things. Now the good news is that the developers have seen the previous video and they have acknowledged that there maybe are a few bits of uh, but a bit of work to do on this screen. One of them was uh, that they acknowledged was the furnishings. Things that you buy to put actually into your restaurant are not on the expenses list. So it kind of makes the numbers look a bit obscure because they're not in there. Because when you set the things up, when you set your restaurant up, the first big expense really is all of the kit you buy. Because you buy the ovens and the fridges and the tables and yeah, the wall decor and all that kind of stuff. That wasn't in the list. So yeah, it made it a little bit confusing. It made it a little bit obscure. And then I think they've acknowledged as well that there is some other work to do on this screen to make it look a little bit more sort of usable. Um, Lionel, Lionel the Lion, our resident mathematician numbers expert, also was baffled by this screen. And I mean, if he's baffled by it, I, have, I would have no chance. I would have no chance. My mathematical powers are absolutely nothing. And Lionel is very good with the numbers. He struggled to uh, work out how we got to this number here. How we got to a, a, a I was going to say a profit, an ink, not even income, a balance. That's it. A balance of minus $200. <laughs> I don't quite understand how all that happened. But whatever the case, we need to do something about that today. We need to stay afloat. We need to make sure that we come out of the day in a positive way. We need positive monies. And there are a few things to do before we need to open up. So one thing is we need to up our prices. Second thing is we need to sort out our experience points. The third thing is we need to spend some ingredients points. Now they were new. We didn't do any of those last time. I don't think we had any ingredient points to spend. So that could be quite interesting. Let's do us first though. So before we open up, let's level us up, which is lovely. So here we go. So this is us. Now, have we got things that can reduce costs? That would be really good. If we could reduce prices of things, that would not be a bad thing. This is all meal prep. That's cooking time. That's quality. Um, I don't think we have a lot in the way of fish, do we? I don't think we have a lot in the way of fish. Yeah, I can't see anything that's going to bring costs down, which is a bit of a shame. I think, did this have costs? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Right, this this might potentially be a slight bug, because we did. Maybe that's why Cheesecake hasn't unlocked. Maybe that's why my Cheesecake vanished, because it doesn't think we're at level 5 anymore for some obscure reason. So, initially, I put a point in this preparation pipeline, two points in sweetness balancing two points in flavours dosing, thinking that that would give us the five points required, one, two, three, four, five, to push us onto this tier where I unlock cheesecake. However, it seems that that has not remembered my points that I've put in there. So I've got three left, but I did buy cheesecake. I indeed designed a cheesecake. I went into the menu editor thing and designed one, and then was a bit confused as to why I couldn't actually deploy it onto the menu. That's why. There is a tiny little bug going on just here, which means that you cannot get back up to where you were before. So yeah, so look, it's, it's, we're on zero. We're on zero. What happens if I put a point into flavor dosing? Yeah, we're back down here again. Okay, that that is quite a big, that's quite a big problem, I would say. <laughs> I would say that's quite a fundamental problem. So we can never get onto the second tier of things unless, uh, well, unless they fix the bug. There is, there is nothing we can do. So we've got three points left. There's no real point aiming for anything on a level 5, really, there, because it's just going to not allow us to keep that. Um, let's get... Have we got quite a lot of pasta and rice? Yeah, we do have some pasta dishes, because the vegetarians have those. Let's get the recipe quality a bit higher, and let's get the recipes prepared a bit quicker. So that's fine. So we'll confirm that. Now, I wonder... 
that's there. That red bar is on two because we just invested two points into that. Let's go out. Let's go back in. Right, it's on two now. It's on two now. I wonder why it didn't retain the cheesecake thing because we did get cheesecake last time. I'm fairly sure I went ahead and got cheesecake. Let's have a look what we spent. So we just spent two there. Let's not count that. So we had one point in that tactical choice. So one, two, three. Fish, we didn't have any, I don't think. Vegetables, we had four. And then in desserts, five, six, seven, eight, nine, did we have? And then I think I invested in cheesecake. Did I not invest in cheesecake? Am I going completely mad? I thought I went down the cheesecake route and couldn't find a cheesecake. No, I did, because I couldn't put it on the menu, could I? So, oh no, but I just, oh, I don't know what's going on with this. I'm very confused, but whatever the case, we cannot get to cheesecake. It doesn't seem to retain these points. It doesn't retain the points, which is a shame. That's a bit of a shame. So we've got one point left. Let's put it in something that's the lower side of things. Um, grilled meat, stuffed meat, roasted meat qualities. Yeah, absolutely. Let's make the meat quality a little bit better. Okay, so that's fine. Now we've got ourselves the, um, the vegetables points. What is it? Ingredient points. So if I click up here, is that going to take me to the ingredients panel? Okay. So now I can have different ingredients. So these are the things I've got. These green things are the things I have. So two. So I've already unlocked biscuits though, haven't I? I've already unlocked biscuits. I've already unlocked carrots, haven't I? Have I not already got carrots? I'm a bit confused as to what this is sort of showing me here. I'm a little bit baffled. Also, how do I move? Ah, right, okay, I, I click and drag, okay. Um, how about, can we unlock something like duck? So we've got five points. What if I click duck? That brings me down to four points. The ones with the, the lights in the background, the ones that are lit up, are the ones that I have available. Right, okay. That makes a bit more sense now. So we'll get ourselves a bit of duck. What about green onion? That might be quite nice. Peppers. Peppers are a good dish. We'll have some peppers. Um, how about something over here? Spices. Can we make like a spicy... A spicy sort of duck dish. Oh, how about like Chinese duck or something? Where's well, like um, uh, ginger? That might go quite nicely. And then one more point. Uh, that is fruit. Got nuts. Oh my goodness me, there's so many things. Oh, these are two. Ah, so the ones in green are two pointers. So they are fancy. Oh, and these are three. So there's different tiers. So if you want pistachios, you have to spend three of your ingredients points. Like bananas are two. I thought we had bananas already, but okay, fine. So all these things... Oh, this is very, very clever. This is very intriguing indeed. So we've got milk. Hang on, there's milk just there as well. Is that just nicer milk? It's just a higher quality of milk, is it? Okay, right. Um, let's have ourselves a carb. No, let's get another vegetable. Let's get another veg. What might be quite nice? Spinach, pumpkin, olives... Leeks, there's so much stuff, there's so much stuff. Asparagus, people like asparagus, don't they? So let's do that, let's confirm that. And now we've got ourselves a load of new things. We've got a load of new ingredients that we can use. So if we come out of that, I think that's the way out. Yeah, that's, that's sorted that out. Now I think we go and try and make a dish. Let's go, I think that's the button. Let's go and try and make something with duck oh now the only thing is we are we're yeah we can't pick cheesecake and I, and I do want to pick cheesecake obviously not with a duck a duck cheesecake would be terrible but i would like to get that but yeah that weird bug has made it go all a little bit strange um we can't pick anything else because we haven't leveled up sufficiently which is a bit frustrating how about what's that sauteed veggies could we just put a load of vegetables in? We've got asparagus now and green onions and ginger and stuff. Let's let's have that. Let's have vegetable explosion. Yeah, let's call it that. And that can be an appetizer. Yeah, a little appetizer. A new one of those. So I don't know what that is at the top. That looks like mixed veg. So let's have asparagus and a bit of garlic. Throw a bit of garlic in. A bit of green onion. Lovely, lovely. Um, how about some peppers? It's like a little mini stir fry almost. A little mini stir fry. Uh, 40. Did that go down? Oh no, the peppers brought it up. Um, peppers. I don't think we need onion. Maybe some tomatoes. Up to 55. However, it's quite sour. Balanced by sweetness. So we need something sweet. Uh, carrots. Can that bring that back down? 
uh, a little bit down. Okay, I think 62. Can we can we just throw some more stuff in? Can we just? Oh no, the celery absolutely obliterates it. Okay, broccoli. Nope, that kills it as well. We put broccoli down here. Now, yeah, I don't I don't understand what the two tracks are here. If you put broccoli at the top, the score goes from 62 down to 45. If you put broccoli on this bottom row, it goes to 59. So I don't really understand what if we're like if we put carrots on the top, does that have a bigger di yeah 62? I don't fully understand. <laughs> I don't really understand that. So garlic on the bottom makes it go up to 64. Oh, I don't understand what this row is as opposed to this row. I really don't know. Um, okay, do you know what though? I think that looks pretty nice. I'd like to get it up into a. Uh, there you go. Three and a half hats. Can we get a fourth hat? Can we get a fourth hat in? Oh, no, not that. That's not good. Put that in. Oh, that absolutely kills it dead in the face. Uh, ginger. Everyone loves a bit of ginger, but but not in this recipe. Do you know what? I think that'll do. I think that's quite nice. Let's save that. That could be... Hang on. Can we add some... Like, where's the... Where's the salt? Can we add some salt? Throw some salt in. 75. Oh, so, I mean, salt does make anything taste better, to be, fair, to be absolutely fair. And a bit of pepper as well. Come on. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Nothing on that one. Pepper on the bottom one. No, nothing. I think it did affect the... Uh, oh, no. Just put an icon on there. On, on, on there. So, spice. Everything needs some spices. How about some basil or basil, depending on where you're from? Can we put that in the top? Oh, no. Right. Okay. Don't put that in there. I think that'll do. So we'll save that recipe. So now we've got vegetable explosion. Now, what could we do with duck? What could we do? Grilled meat. That could be duck. Surely that could be duck. A main course. Um, let's call it quack quackers. Quackers. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, quackers, right, start the recipe. Let's get meat, because now we can have duck. So let's put some duck in there. That's very lovely. Right, vegetables. Duck goes well with stuff like this, like ginger. That's good. Green onions. Uh, the ginger bring, brought it down there. 29, up to 33. Garlic, 58. Garlic just makes everything amazing. <laughs> put, put garlic in all of the things. 76 already. Duck, green onion, ginger, garlic, and mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Right, we want to have it with something. So how about we have it with uh, rice? Gar uh, duck with rice. Like I said, a Chinese-style dish. Uh, let's find the seasoning, because we want pepper. 86. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this is, a, this is a wondrous dish indeed. Strengthened by sourness, balanced by sweetness, and slightly balanced by fatness. So, um... Strengthened by sourness. Which one is sour? Sourness is that one. So strength. it is strengthened by sourness. Is that what we want? We don't want it to be strengthened. Do we want to bring it down, I think? Um, what else can we throw into this thing? What other veg have we got? Anything that would go well? Peppers? 86, 69. No, no peppers. Don't do that. Put peppers in with the rice? No, that also does not help. I don't think we're going to get much better than that. I don't think... We're going to get much better. Hang on, can we throw some, chuck a bit of salt in? Um, that just makes it slightly saltier, as, <laughs> as you might well imagine. Olive oil just brings those up. But olive oil to fry the duck in. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Um, that'll do. I think that'll do. Let's save that. So the flavour, so that's the nasal sort of thing, is 40. Uh, taste is 40. I mean, is that the maximum you can get? And it's got four and a half hats. Which is, that's good. So I'll, I'll do that. Save that. And now we need to go to our menu. And we need to, yep, yeah, I got it. We need to put in these new things. So let's put in vegetable explosion. And then let's put in quackers. <laughs> which is, I can't believe we've got a thing called quackers. And then let's also, because people seem to like pasta and stuff. Let's have fried rice with, pro oh, hang on. The Italian tomato pasta is three and a half. Tomato pasta is different to Italian tomato pasta, is it? Is that different? Tomato pasta is different to Italian. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's change it. Let's have Italian tomato pasta rather than just tomato pasta because that seems a bit silly. Um, and then also, can we add another salad? Let's add a cod salad. So a fish salad in. Put one of those in. I don't think we need to do anything else, do we? We need to make a soup, really. I do like a nice soup. 
We haven't got enough soup options. Um, so we've got two salad options. I wouldn't mind another one. Perhaps fried rice, fried, fried rice, sorry, with prawns. That might be quite nice as well. Rice with prawns, nice. So right now, what we need to do is we need to up our prices because our prices are just too low. They're just too low. So let's put a dollar onto that at least. This thing can be three. Let's take a look. We'll put two dollars onto the stupendous stew. Butter pasta can have a couple added. Because these are main dishes. These are main courses that, you know, people are, are paying not very much for. They're not paying very much for these at all. So hang on. That can be 450 then. We'll change that round. That can be four. So that's a little bit more representative for a main course. In fact, that's 650. The duck I would expect to be probably more expensive than that. 670, I would have thought for the duck. And then let's get that to 450. Why not? Because on, on our reviews, the prices was what the thing that you know, everyone liked. I was like, wow, the prices are brilliant. It's but yeah, that's why we're not making any money. So let's make that two pound fifty for a light salad. I can't charge more than two fifty for some leaves. And a cod salad could be three fifty because it's got a bit of fish in it. Tomato soup. Make it three. Mussel soup, make it four. Garlic potato soup, make it 325. Um, they can go up by a dollar each. They can go up by two dollars each. And the beer can go up as well. So let's see if that makes a difference. Um, I don't know, I'm going to put that up. I'm going to make that four for a starter and that four as well. So let's see if that makes any difference. So we've spent our ingredients points. We've spent our chef experience points, although it does not seem to have retained it for the, uh, certainly for desserts anyway. But yeah, I mean, we should have at least one notch here. We should have a little notch there because we've got one level up in that. And we didn't get anything in fish, but meat. We certainly should have had more than the one in there. I think we put one in extra, didn't we? But we should have had two more in there. So we should be on our way to three. But our sort of bar here is on one. So yeah, that has bugged out. That's bugged out. That's quite a that's quite a big thing. Because we should be on tier five. We should be able to have cheesecake and such like in our dish, in our um, in our recipes and on our menu. But alas, we cannot. Okay, let's see if that's made any difference. So let's just let's just run time on. There's already people coming by now, because of our fantastic reviews. Take them inside then. I wonder what you were doing. <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten what to do. And um, because of our fantastic reviews, which I think are here, we've got a load of extra bonuses. So we're going to see a load of extra people coming in. Look at that. 50% lower class families, 109% food enthusiasts, an increase of 109% gourmet food people. And then here, excellent prices rating, we're going to get a 200% increase in blue collar and cheapskate customers. That's crazy. And um, the atmosphere, and you've got three stars, there's nothing there. And the good service rating, that's going to give us a massive boost as well. So we are probably going to be full. I imagine we're going to be full. Most people give us a very good rating. Somebody gives us an average, but you know what? That's all fine. So hopefully this place is going to be incredibly busy. So we've got like a maitre d' sort of on the door, bringing people in and showing them to the table. And then we've got the waiter here taking the orders at the tables. Okay, right. Well, let's just move time on at pace. Let's just get stuff done. Now, what I want to do is I want to get some more tables in. I wonder if we can um, buy stuff... Now, now, I know I've got no money, but I wonder if it lets us buy stuff to a certain degree. What's that mean? What does that mean? What's this? I don't know what that means. What does the bell thing mean? This is making no sense. Uh, bell? I don't know what that is. What's that? Okay, there's some stuff here that I don't understand what it does. There's a handshake, a bell, and, a, and taking money. So you... Is this what they're concentrating on? Is this what they concentrate on? So one of them concentrates on handshaking. So presumably Braid is out the front. Yeah, Braid's out the front. Stefan is inside taking the orders, is he? And then somebody else can take the money. Oh, hang on. You can only do one of each. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's a bit confusing. I don't really understand what to do with that. There's a red bell kind of icon thing, but I don't know what to do with that. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that information. Okay. So can we buy ourselves some tables? Or is it going to go, uh-uh, you've got no money, Sonny. Uh, come back when you've got a bit of cash, please. So we had that as our table. And can we sort of do it and just then pay people back a bit later? That would be lovely if we could. So I think we need to push it one back. 
I think it's about oh now now that is that's a good question, isn't it? Again, it's quite hard to quite hard to work out exactly what. So it's there, and then the table legs are there. I'd say so. We can put it down. We can put extra tables and things in. Okay, okay, that's interesting. We can't have anything further up this way. Can we can. Do you know what? Cram an extra table in. Why not? Get extra people in. I know it's a little bit near the door to the kitchen. It's all fine. And then a couple more of the single tables, I think probably would be a good plan. So a couple more of these, just to get them in. That's a couple more seats, a couple more bums on seats, a couple more bits of money. And because we've got those modifiers, loads of people might be coming in, which would be great. So let's have that there and that there. And then possibly another couple of the double tables here, because the double tables seem very popular. They seem very popular indeed. So let's see, can we get another couple of those in? Like down in this corner. Now, I have been warned not to put a table in the exact corner uh, by Dave at Wee Hours. Hello, Dave. Because, um, yeah, they, the pathing goes a bit mad for the um, the staff and stuff. They can't seem to get their way to the table. I don't know if that constitutes a corner. Is that cornery enough? Yeah, we can't put anything just there. We can't put anything here. Do you know what? Do we want to have that there? Or should we put another... Let's put another couple of these. Another couple of these tables will do the job. I can't even put anything just there. Is that because it's a plant pot? Might, maybe the plant pot is causing some offence. I don't know. So that just have to go there. And then, yeah, we can't fit anything else in. So I think that is all the tables we can fit in. So now we find ourselves <laughs> slightly short of cash. That's fine. I think we'll sort that out when people start paying. Because at the minute, nobody has paid anything. Nobody's paid any monies. And now we should start seeing when people leave, them paying up and giving us all the lovely, lovely cash they've got. So at the minute, people are still in. People are still waiting for food. They're eating. So these guys were in first, weren't they, in this corner. These were kind of the guys who were there early. Yep, he's setting their tables up. He's setting more tables up. I mean, do I need more staff? Do I need more staff? We've got 47 out of the 94, 94 seats. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, hang on. Pause a second. Pause. 44 out of 94 seats. I would debate that. I would argue the fact that we have a 94 seat capacity in our restaurant. Hang on. Let me check. Okay, by my reckoning, we have nine of the bigger tables and nine of the smaller tables. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bigger tables. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the smaller tables. So nine times four for the bigger tables gives us a capacity of 36 people. So 36 people at capacity can be seated at the bigger tables. And then we've got nine times two, which is 18. So if every table, the little tables, was all sort of uh, fully occupied, that would give us 18 people. And 36 plus 18, I think, is 54. I mean, you know, I've done that off the top of my head. It might be all terrible. But 54. I think we have a capacity of 54 people. I don't know where 94 has come from. I'm not entirely sure where 94 has been conjured up from, unless people are sitting outside. Do I mean, do we own the bus stops? Is, is that the thing? Do we own any property over here? I mean, there's benches. Are they counting the benches out near the, the tomato statue, is that? I'm not entirely sure. So again, it's alpha. Things are not quite right. You know, they're working on things and stuff like this probably will help them out quite a bit. You know, when they see people playing it, when they see the little sort of bits and bobs, little bugs popping up, that will probably help them quite a bit. But yeah, 94 p uh, places is not right. So we've got 44. So in theory, by my numbers, there should be 10 seats vacant. Let's have a look. Four, five six, seven, eight, uh, yeah, nine and ten. So that is right. So yes, we do have 54 capacity. So the attendance is correct. There are 44 people in, but there is not a capacity of 94. That is very much not correct. So I don't really know what's going on there, but okay, right. So let's see what people have said. There is a review. It is a good review. I assume Fatima is the latest reviewer. I assume that's what that is. So again, I think it might have been a very good review. It might have been a very good review. Let's just have a quick look. Um, oh no, there's there's a little there's a little a little negative, not negative, a mediocre review, shall we say, an average review. They should put some they should put some more effort, and things could be dramatically better. <laughs> okay, the place is uh, really close to where I sadly have to work. Okay, yeah, so you're going to come back, so you liked it. Okay, I'm still encouraged. I'm still happy with that. Now, what we need to do is, we need to see those that money coming up. All these people are going to be paying for their food. 
all these people are going to be paying. So hopefully, at some point, we should see us maybe not get back into positive numbers over the lunchtime bit, but, you know, we should get pretty much close to back to where we started. So let's just leave it running because there's not much else for us to do right now. Oh, by the way, I named it. I named the shop, uh, the restaurant. I called it the Geek Pantry, again, um, from the comments. That might have been Lionel who suggested that in the comments. But um, yeah, I know um, Sergeant Curry Pants, who uh, also occasionally pops by the channel, um, she calls me Pantry as well. <laughs> so she will like the Geek Pantry. She'll be very happy with that. So yeah, the money is not rolling in as much as I thought it might do, I'll be honest. The money is not pouring in. Okay, so we've ended the sort of the lunchtime session on a very nice minus 400. So I think... We made quite a bit of money there. We made quite a bit because we did invest in tables. I mean, these are, what, two? How much were the tables? 200 each, were they? I can't remember now. How much is a table? Yeah, 200 each for the bigger tables, 150 for the smaller tables. So we invested quite a bit in the... Um, oh, let's change the name of the restaurant again. <laughs> I don't understand why it goes up there. I don't know why the um, it suddenly decides that you want to change the name of the restaurant. So hopefully, by the end of this session oh those chefs are jumping around they're jumping for joy hooray customers and um, by the end of this session i would think that we might be in profit however we're then going to have to pay out uh, wages and rent and all that kind of stuff the confusing finance screen is going to reappear so we'll have to see what we can do about that now yeah it might not make any sense right push time on Let's see what we can do with this. So there's people coming in. This is encouraging. I was expecting it to be full pretty much from the off. Again, this little thing has appeared in the corner. Don't know what to do about this. There's a red... Th there is somebody assigned to the bell thing. Unless I need another member of staff. I mean, is it because now we've got so many people in that one person can't take all the orders? Is that the problem? Is that the problem? I don't really know. That that thing is not very clear. I mean, it would be really helpful. Really, really good if that could have a little bit of explanation to it. A little bit of context behind it. But never mind, it doesn't. We shall persevere. Um, okay, it is filling up. We've got two tables left. Now I've got one table left. So the money is going down because we're spending it on ingredients. Obviously, we're buying the food that we're then preparing. Hopefully, then, when they leave, this number should then creep back up because they're going to be paying more than the cost price of the ingredients. We should get some monies out of it. That would be lovely. There you go. Look, already it's crept up a little bit. Four, six, seven. It's gone back down because they're making more food. There is a lot going on. It's very busy. It's very busy here at the Geek Pantry. Let's take a quick look at the reviews. Um, okay, maybe creeping down toward average. The prices are still excellent. The price values are still amazing. Um, food slightly less. Oh no. <laughs> a one star review. Who put that in? Eating in this place brought me back to my childhood when I used to eat my boogers. Upper class family. Don't pretend that you don't eat your boogers, Mr. Snobby Man. With your little moustache and your fancy suit and your big car. You still eat your boogers. No atmosphere? None at all? Really? Okay, I think that's a bit harsh. So we're getting kind of average results now. We're getting average results. The food is not great. The prices are still good. So we're still holding firm on the prices. But other than that, I don't really... But then this one here is very good. I didn't expect much, thank you. But at the end of the lunch, I was felt quite satisfied. Definitely worth the price. And you're a cheapskate. So everyone is still content with the prices. Now, I have to remember, this is American prices, isn't it? So maybe... Uh, going out for a meal in America and paying seven, whatever it is, seven dollars for a steak is really cheap. Like, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I haven't been out and eating, eating in America for quite some time. So I'm not entirely sure. So I could be massively underpricing myself here. Right. Come on. Let's let's get into at least a plus number. By the end of the... Oh, there's more people coming in, though. This is encouraging. A couple of people came in. Yay! We're in profit. We've got six. We've got thirty dollars. That's it. We can all go out for a Chinese meal. Oh, no, we work in a restaurant. Let's not do that. Okay, a little message has popped up. You've made your first steps in the world of restaurants. Now you can brag about how at least a single person liked your place enough to come back a second time. Well, it's something, isn't it? The more your popularity will grow, the more customers, especially rich ones, will visit your place. Indeed, but a rich customer did visit my place and he said it was like eating his boogers. So, do you know what? Do I want the rich ones to come back? Okay, a small step for a man. And we've got... Nearly a hundred dollars. I mean, I don't think this is going to go very well when it comes to the end of the week and we have to pay like the wages. Hundred nine dollars is better. 
and these people have yet to pay. So presumably the ingredients, the ingredients have been used. So this is just going to be pure profit at the end of this. So 182, and then it's going to go on. Yep, so there we go. So it's gone to midnight. I imagine the staff will go home, and then that's it. Well, what's that? Decisions available. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, someone coming in? Really? Are we open past midnight? Oh my goodness. Right, decisions are available. You have some decisions that can be activated. Click here to open the policies panel and head to the decision screen. Okie doke. So we've got some that are available. By contacting the world famous Swedish brand Ikoa, you'll be able to buy from them some furnishing to liven the ambience or kitchen furnishing. Ah, I was saying the kitchen looks a bit bland. It's own division uh, dedicated to kitchen furnishing. By signing a contract with them, you'll be able to buy new cheap but reliable tools for your kitchen. Oh, so that's cheaper stuff. Okay, okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. I can't sign any of these things right now. I don't need to hire any more people. Don't need to hire people. How about a furnishing contract? Contacting the world famous I Icoa. I better buy from them furnishing to liven the ambience. How about we don't do that right now? Can we can we can we sit on this? Can we just sit on that for a short while? Right, move move time on until uh, I know, right, play. Sorry, I was a bit wide just stood there. But no, I was, <laughs> thought maybe it got stuck. So we're all waiting for this one person at quarter past midnight to come and have some food. I mean, really, when do you close? When are your closing times? Right, so you're going to rush around and make some food. I wonder what you've ordered. I genuinely wonder what you've ordered. Let's we go and find out. So it's cooking. Whatever it is, is now cooking. Um, can we find out what you ordered? Why can't we click on you? You're not really there. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Can we click on the person? No. We can't seem to click on this person. Uh, I'm sure they have a delicious meal at the ready. They had a bland face, but okay. Right, now I assume... So here is the confusing thing. So current week food, 1,644.20. So we made that in food. Nothing in beverages. They're not drinking our drink. We've got the one drink on offer. Nobody's drinking it. Okay, no others. So we spent 680 on personnel. So that means we've got about a grand... From the food profits but then we paid rent of 224 which is about a quarter so we pay rent the rent of that we saw at the start when we chose our place is then split into four as a line or put so the um, the months are all conveniently four weeks long as well <laughs> uh yeah which is useful raw ingredients were 400 maintenance was 193 so now we're 700 down that's not the best thing. Hang on, but then we've got a balance of minus 1,301. Yeah, because that doesn't take into account the furnishings we bought. So maybe that's where that number's come from. Okay, right. Proceed. Proceed, proceed, proceed. Oh, hang on. Pause. It's gone to the next day already. Hold your horses. Right. Let's up the prices on the menu a bit more. Seeing as prices were still very good. If we go to the actual menu, that might help. Let's just up these a little bit. Because these were seemingly still quite reasonable. So if we can just eke out a little bit Let's just put a dollar on all these. Just make them a tiny bit more expensive. There we go. Oh, I don't think the pasta went up. Uh, the light salad can be 350. Cod salad, 450. Soups, are, they're all expensive soups now. Made with the finest ingredients. Uh, those roast potatoes are fantastic. And the jacked potato is, oh, it's delicious. Um, dessert to six. Nobody's drinking the beer, so no one really cares. Do you know what? Should we make them both five? Let's make them both five. Vegetable explosion and tortilla di patate can be five each. So that sorted that out. Right, now we've got some chef points to spend, which is lovely. Now, they've retained it now, look. I wonder if it's when I went out and came back in or something. I'm, I'm still fairly sure that hasn't worked properly. I'm fairly confident that we should have five points in this so we can get onto this next tier. So that is a bit of a shame. In fact, can we ever get onto the next tier of this with this current configuration of things? Because if I spend two points there one point there and one point there that gives us four points which means we can never get to five so we can never unlock the next tier of desserts i don't think i don't think that's how it's going to yeah if we do that look and we confirm it we can we can't get there that's all we can do on the first tier so yeah that that is a bug now that i know the devs are watching so hopefully they will be able to iron that out that might well impact our game a little bit let's go down the pasta route we've got lots of pasta dishes going on let's try and get the quality a bit higher let's get the cooking time up and let's get the preparation time up so if we confirm that that then unlocks all these other things so fresh pasta lasagna rice pie 
Did we unlock lasagna last time? I can't remember now. I can't remember what I did. Um, oh, we've got all this stuff here. Sauteed rice, quality sorting. Thousand layers creativity. Oh, that's for lasagna recipes. Hang on, can we get lasagna? Can we get lasagna and then make the recipes quality of lasagna better? Oh, absolutely. Let's do that. Yes. A delicious lasagna dish. I think we need to go and design that right now. There it is. There's lasagna. Click. We shall have that. Do you know what? Visually, that's absolutely fine. Um, Penge's lasagna. Uh, bu bueno. <laughs> Penge's lasagna bueno. Let's start the recipe. Great. Anything? Any ingredients for the lasagna of any kind? Do I get this? Do I get? Do I have to? Hello? Um, I could right, right. Okay, I think that might have gone a little bit wrong. Let's discard all that. Let should we try again? Should we should we give that another go? <laughs> Penge is lasagna. But maybe it doesn't like the name. Maybe it's like no, you can't have something with that name because that's just ridiculous. Start recipe. Hmm. Okay, that's that's certainly not working either. Right, come out of this for now. About come out of that. Where's, where's my ingredients thing? I've got 10 ingredients points to spend. Let's go and get some more ingredients, shall we? Let's go and have a look around at what we might like. Oh, there, there's so much. To, tier 3, like, vegetables. Tier 3 carrots. So, I mean, we could get lots of lovely carrots. We do have quite a lot of pasta dishes. Why don't we just get really nice pasta? Why don't we get tier 3 pasta? That might be quite a good thing to do. So, spend 3 points on that. And then... And that's gone down to zero. <laughs> I thought that was three points. It says three. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's worked very well either. Okay, again, alpha, few bugs and things. Or if I completely misunderstood how this works. I would imagine if it says three, that takes three points to unlock. We had ten. Uh, I clicked that and it's come. And it hasn't even lit it up either. It's not even like we've actually got access to that. Yeah, that's that's that didn't work very well either. Maybe I'm supposed to go through. Am I supposed to get like the tier twos and then the tier threes? Maybe I'm supposed to get two and then three rather than jumping straight into three. But then why does it let me pick three if I've got to pick two first? Um, okay. Uh, well, I, well, let let's not do any ingredient stuff then. That's all fine. Uh, right, let's go and try and make the lasagna again. Okay, it's not the name because I changed the name to Penge's lasagna. Please work, and it still hasn't worked. We've got no sort of drag and droppy boxes for lasagna for us to actually you know put anything into so we can't create any ingredients we can't sort of make anything we can't do anything um oh look at that that shows the tier three ingredients <laughs> that we should have we should have some lovely tier three pasta but we haven't got any have we got any tier two stuff no <laughs> ah dear me okay so the lasagna hasn't actually hasn't worked uh, i mean that that's fine Let, let's undo that can we pick something else can we pick another Another dish? Something else nice? What's that? What is that? Grilled... Oh, we've already got grilled veggies. Grilled fish. Why don't we make a nice grilled fish dish then? Um, let's call it um, fishy on a dishy. <laughs> there we go. Fishy on a dishy as a main course. Start the recipe. Oh, that works. So we've got a seafoody dish so we need to go to here so this is going to be a fish dish it's going to be lovely we're going to have cod cod is nice we're going to have anchovies because because salt we're going to have prawns and we're going to have salmon it's going to be a mega fish bonanza um and then vegetable wise um let's put some i mean garlic goes with everything so let's put garlic in with everything now it goes up to 60 when you put it on the bottom one or 59 when you put it on the top one so let's put garlic on that bottom one I don't know if this is like the main ingredients. This is your lesser ingredients. Hang on, let's have a look at that. 0 0.1 of whatever that number is. That's how much it uses, is it? If you put it on the bottom track. At the top, it's 0 0.1. Okay, that, that proved entirely nothing. Okay, right. I just might not bother doing that ever again. Okay, so what have we got? A nice grilled fish. Fishy on a dishy. Lots of, it's like a fish platter. Uh, we'll have some lettuce with it, please, because that, that's nice. Uh, does it work better if we put the lettuce at the top? It makes no difference at all because lettuce doesn't really taste of anything. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get some black pepper in on the top. 65. Okay, that's good. And then we want to get ourselves um, a bit of a drizzle of olive oil, possibly. Oh, 79. We are making something delicious. Sourness and bitterness. <laughs> so fatness is decreased by sourness and bitterness. Wow. Uh, salt of the 
bottom that doesn't really make much difference either so salt doesn't make any difference anymore okay uh we don't want it with that it is just going to be with a little salad i just want it to be with like a sort of maybe that's the side maybe that's the main and that's the side i don't really know uh, so some peppers on there maybe some onions uh tomatoes and uh the saltiness has come right down given that it's primarily fish based and a bit of ginger Throw a bit. oh no 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 not ginger ginger is bad also tomatoes i oh, know tomatoes enhanced these bits here let's put oh hang on mushrooms mushrooms are nice they're good and then tomatoes yeah okay i'm quite happy with that fishy on a dishy right save fishy on a dishy um and then let's go to the menu that's not the menu let's press the right button go to menu find fishy on a dishy wherever that might be there's fishy on a dishy put that in as a main menu option that is way too cheap given that, oh no that's put that down as well given that that is our prime thing let's make that 840 it's got an awful lot of stuff on it it's got an awful lot of things and also i'm just gonna i'm just gonna bump these up by one because i want to because they're the mains and the mains are the big things you pay for Okay, so we've got seafood offers. Oh, look, we've got a good range of things. A meat offer, vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's see what happens now then. So we'll move time on at pace, see what happens. So we're running at eight speed. People are coming in. Hopefully, we're not going to buy any furniture or anything. We're not going to buy furniture. So hopefully this number will start, it'll come down for a bit while we're preparing the food, then hopefully that number will start coming up a bit when we actually get people paying. And it's filling up quite nicely. It's looking very good indeed. Okay, okay, I'm happy with this. It's looking good. We're shelling out quite a bit of ingredients. That will all come back when these people pay up. So uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Let's get to the end of the lunchtime shift and just see how well we've done. Okay, there's people having very, very late lunches going on. It's coming up to four o'clock, but these people are the last ones in. So when they're finished, they will pay up, which should probably bring us down to sort of, what, minus 470 or something? Minus 441. Table is clear. Time moves on to the evening session, which starts... I would have probably said that we should start at maybe sort of half six or something to get extra people in. So we're a minus 441 monies but now we only have a, a popularity of 49 so that's come down a little bit now i'm wondering quite why taste not included unlike salmonella no absolute trash okay what's going on not coming again dinner with friends a little more care they should put some more effort and things could be dramatically better yeah atmosphere is certainly an issue however food quality is also an issue i mean i am trying to sort out the food quality i'm i'm coming up against some some little glitches and bugs and things i mean i did want to get better quality pasta because we have a lot of pasta dishes but that did not seem to kind of work i'll give that another go next time maybe i'll get the tier two pasta before i then go on to the tier three pasta another thing is if we upgrade say the pasta to level two does that immediately take effect on the stock dishes i imagine i might have to go into my dishes the ones that i've created and swap out say level one pasta for level two pasta but on our whatever it was italian tomato pasta does the game automatically know to then use the next level up of pasta or do i need to go in and tell it somehow to say no no that's your recipe now use nicer pasta please i don't know i'm not entirely sure there's a lot of people in here there's a lot of people in. So I don't know. I don't quite know how that's going to work. We shall see. We shall see when we get to the end of today. Things are looking very encouraging, though. Another review. Average. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll take an average review. I'd love to get an excellent. I'd love to get an excellent review. I mean, has anyone tried the fishy on a dishy? I mean, come on. That is all the fish you could ever want. On a dish. On a dishy, no less. Um, average. Uh, you said exactly the same thing as the other person, which is a little bit weird. Prices are still amazing. That's the only thing that I've got going for me, prices. So, okay, okay, lessons learned then. You can really, really go to town with the prices and people are not that bothered. Now, maybe if I'd done that early on, I would have had considerably more money. Now, we are kind of, it's going up. The money is going up. It's only half nine. We've got another maybe three hours of opening time. So you do need to clear some tables though, dudes. Come on, come on, clear some tables. People are waiting to come and sit down. Clear some tables. Uh, yeah, okay. So clear the bigger tables, please, because then you might get people coming in. Because at the minute they might be looking in going, oh, there's no table spare. Maybe I need another waiter or something. Maybe I need more waiters. 
when it gets really busy, they might have struggled. But okay, there's some more people in. And again, we're getting a steady trickle in fairly late on. So we're on 108, 200 monies. Another four coming in. That's quite encouraging. Another table coming in. So we are making some money. So yeah, maybe from early on, maybe from early on, I should have put the prices higher. So that is a lesson learned. Do not be afraid to tweak with the prices and make them pretty high. And then with that money, I could have then invested in better things for the ambience. I could have got you know more things on the walls and more paintings and what have you. Because it is a little bit, it's a little bit bare around the edges of the walls and stuff. I could put lots of pictures up, lots of lovely things around plant parts and what have you, all that kind of stuff. So we could have got that from, you know, maybe if we'd have got the money, the higher prices earlier so now we are just waiting they had a sad face they had a grumpy face they've got a, they've got an ambivalent face that's fine a non plus face was that a smile they might one of those there oh no maybe it was just a, a, a meh face a meh face okay so here's a confusing balance sheet so this week we earned 2,120 from food okay and we spent 1,470 we didn't buy any furniture so by my accounts, we should be 638 up. Okay, but the budget is minus 1062. I don't, I don't understand. I, I am, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. If we earn 2,109, but then it says balance 638. But then were we on minus 1,600 and something last time then? And now the balance is 1,000? I really don't understand. So the budget last week was minus 1,301. So if we've made 638, the balance should be 700. I, I don't know. Lionel, Lionel, help us again. <laughs> Study this screen. I'll move the mouse out of the way. There you go. Any idea what's going on? Because I am absolutely bewildered. Obviously, as we said earlier, they're going to work on this screen to make it a little bit more logical. Because it doesn't seem to make any sense at all. It makes no sense at all to me. So, um, yeah, hope, hopefully they will work on that soon because this is what you base things on. And I don't really understand the money amounts at the minute. So let's proceed for a bit. Let's pause time. I think what we'll do is we'll wrap it up there because we've been playing for a little while. We've done a couple of weeks. So a couple of day playthroughs as we see it, but then the day becomes a week in the game. So we've done that. We've got ourselves another five experience points, 10 ingredients points, which we shall do something different with next time. I Maybe I won't jump up to the level um, the level three pasta. I'll go to the level two pasta first, possibly. See how it works. Um, and then, yeah, maybe we'll try and do some of this stuff. Get some Ikea furniture or whatever it was. It? No, Ikea. Ikoa. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Ikoa. Um, reviews. We need to get some better reviews going on. So we need to get our food better, which the ingredients points will hopefully help with. This thing here, experience points. Let's just take a quick look. So on pasta, we are on six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We should have eight. Seven and eight we should have. Um, oh, maybe that is right. Maybe that is eight because that's 15. So the numbers are going to... Yeah, it's that. Between that and that is five. Between that and that marker is 10. And that's 10. And that's 15. So this is not going to go up evenly. It's going to go... It's going to get to here quite quick. Then go up here a bit slow. And then go there even slow as we have to earn 15 points to fill that gap. But um, so yeah, let's take a look at this. So let's remember this. And when we come in next time, we will check to see if we have this red bar in the past a bit or not. And if not... That is unfortunate because that means that there is quite a fundamental bug in the way that you know, your experience points are working. But okay, we'll remember that for next time. Let's finish up for now. I hope you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in our restauranting adventures. Also, keep it, uh, keep commenting. Please help me out with the stuff. Please let me know what I might be doing right, what I might be doing wrong. Give me advice. Give me tips. It's all useful. I do try and read all the comments when I can. I don't get you know loads and loads and loads of comments, but I try and read them all when I can you know get round to it and stuff. So your comments are very, very helpful. So please keep them coming. Thank you very much. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered, and I will see you next time. He's gone down the lift soon that they're not built. The lifts aren't finished. People, people, this is very dangerous. Martin said it's fine and gave me a negative review. You silly man, Martin. You've clicked the wrong button. It looked like he had no trousers on, which was a little bit strange. Oh, Linda, with your gleaming golden words of appreciation. Linda says, eh, okay, hotel. <laughs>